Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're now back for the action. And this is going to be the toughest game probably this whole season, maybe, as we go up against a dominant offense and a dominant defense in number 11, West Virginia. And look at them, they beat the brakes off of Mississippi to open up the season 42 to 19. But first, before hopping into the action, let's get to our players of the game last week. Tyler Nevins and Trey Walker, both seniors on the offense, they got it done. And Isaac Tagia on the defense, he was flying around the ball the entire game last week, and it proved when we got the victory. So we're going up against this West Virginia team, and let's just look at all of their weapons. They're led by Martel Petaway at running back, and he is actually their leading receiver and uh, rusher. But then they have Jack Allison at quarterback, a true pocket passer. He can't really move too well, but just good enough to get by. But look at Martel Petaway. I mean, he's pretty good, 86 speed only, but he's got everything else really, really highly rated. and. I think that he's going to be tough to stop, but look at all the receivers they have, and this isn't even half of them, to be honest with you, because Martel Petaway had a big game receiving, but they have a bunch of other guys that are just waiting to get in, and they can explode at any time. And then to add on to that, look at their defense. They had so many sacks last game, and they are led by Stills as they come into this game on defense. So here we go. We are starting out this game. We did win the toss and quick throw out to Giovanni Haskins, Allison, for eight yards. So now on a second and two, handoff up the middle. There is Petaway getting a big hole up the middle. He picks up a block using his stiff arm, and he's finally getting tackled at about the 33-yard line, but that's 38 yards for a first. So now here's Allison from the shotgun throw across the middle. That time it's Drew Bowen. He's picking up a big gain of 20, and they are already at the 15-yard line. So first and 10, snap to Allison. Throw out to the sideline. There's Bowen again, another eight yards. And like I said, this offense is going to be tough to stop. So here on a second and two, here's Allison. Throwing out to the corner of the end zone. He's going to find Tevin Bush for the seven yard touchdown pass. But look at this pocket. I mean, there was no pressure on him and they take the 7-0 lead. So Drayvon Jennings is back in the lineup after getting hurt last game. Luckily, it wasn't a major injury. So we're starting out this game running the ball with Tyler Nevins as he's barely got over 100 yards in two games. So now in a second and two, another handoff to Nevins. He's picking up a gain of 10 and a first down. And here we go. So now first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Here's Jennings rolling out to the right side. There's that pass rush getting to us. Forces us to throw that one away as we get it to a second and 10. Here is Jennings from the shotgun. Clean pocket, but throwing across the middle. That one's picked off by Reigns, and that's the first mistake of the game. You know West Virginia's got a ton of weapons on offense and defense. You can just see we had a clean pocket, but nobody was open. We just forced it and we turn the ball over. So now here on the 50 yard line, here's a throw to Giovanni Haskins for 18 yards and a first down, nice throw from Allison. So first and 10 at the 30 yard line, another clean pocket, throwing it out to the right side. That's actually to Tevin Bush, 5'6", Tevin Bush. He's got some speed and that is a gain of eight. So second and two, here's Allison. Throwing out to the that. sideline. That's picked off by Jalen Nelson, the senior. He's going to take this one all the way back to the 38-yard line. And like I said, when we get some pressure, that's what we got to do because they're blocking so well up front. And that time I think Allison was feeling the pressure. He gets rid of it, and that is an interception. So on the next drive, there's a tip pass. Drayvon Jennings has yet to complete a pass as now we get it to a third and eight here is Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the left side, trying to get rid of it. Look at that defensive lineman. How did he glitch to us like that? Take another look at this. I mean, look at that speed burst. That is just unfair as wow. We could have actually maybe even ran for that, but look at this speed burst he gets. Wow, that is just crazy. And that forces us to a fourth and eight. So we go for this 
on a fourth and eight here from the shotgun. Snap to Jennings, rolling out to the right side this time. Gonna throw the ball deep, getting hit, and that's a perfect throw to Carl Wolf. 36 yards, one for five passing to start this game, but the first completion is a big one, and it's a touchdown, and we tie this game up at seven apiece. So here is Allison back out on the next drive, this time scrambling to the right side, and like I said, he doesn't have great speed but he has just enough to get by that's a gain of 16 on that one so now at the 50 yard line here from the shotgun Allison throwing out to the sideline on the comeback route is Drew Bowen and that's a gain of 13 so he's got three receptions 40 yards already and you can just see all the weapons that they have as they give the ball to pet away this time 12 yards up the middle and he's got 50 yards rushing on only two carries so first and 10, here's gotcha, Allison this time trying to scramble out and he runs into the brick wall, Terrence Miller, and that's a sack in the first one of the game. So second and 15, here is Allison throwing out across the middle this time, finding TJ Simmons for 14 yards as we get him down to a third and two. Here is Allison from the shotgun, dual backs in the backfield, but there is TJ Simmons once again, eight yards and a first down. So now first and goal at the eight yard line. This time facing some pressure, we're gonna throw it to the right side. And that's the thing, if we send some pressure, we can make him throw into traffic and it might result in a couple of interceptions. You never know. But on a third and goal, here is a handoff to Petaway, breaking attack from Michael Cummings. But there is Andre Armstead from the other side of the field, saving the touchdown and we get them to settle for three. So now in a 10 to seven game, running the ball with Tyler Nevins, he's not picking up anything on that one, only a gain of two, as that forces us to eventually a third and eight. Here is Jennings from the shotgun this time, clean pocket, but then he loses control and he throws it out of bounds, and he's only one for seven to start this game. So here is Allison back out onto the field to lead his offense, throwing the ball deep on the first play. That's Bruh. almost picked off by Trey White. And man, he was pretty good intercepting the ball down the stretch last year. He misses an opportunity there. So now they eventually do pick up a first down here, throwing out to the right side. And there is a 13 yard reception to Tevin Bush. So first and 10, another first and 10, throwing the ball across the middle. There's Tevin Bush again. 12 yards and he's got four receptions and a touchdown so now first and 10 in the pistol formation this time running his tight end in motion this time but throwing out to the left side and that's gonna be caught by tj simmons how did trey white not get turned around on that one take another look he just doesn't turn his head around and then he allows the touchdown so now they take the 17 to 7 lead here to start the second quarter here is Jay Taylor into the game, picking up three yards on that carry as he makes it a second and seven. So now here is Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. This time he's got some room. He's gonna try to pick up some yardage, but can only pick up three. So third and five this time, running to stick and nod. Here's Drayvon Jennings throwing across the middle. That's Billy Humphreys, the senior tight end, picking up 18 yards and a first down. So first and 10, seven minutes left here in the second quarter. Here is Jennings rolling out to the right side. He's picking up a gain of 11 and that's a first down close to about the 23 yard line. So now here on a first and 10 snap, throw from the shotgun, gonna throw out to the right side. That's Trey Walker, the slot senior receiver. He's picking up 13 and we're looking good so far on this drive. So second and seven here, handoff up the middle. There's Tyler Nevins making it to the one yard line as we get it to a third and one. Read option call, this time Drayvon Jennings calls his own number, but he can't get around Isaac Duenas, who was getting pushed back on that one, and he's tackled by Tonkery. So we do line up to go for it. Fourth and two, this time handing it off to Tyler Nevins, and he's getting stopped, and look who it is. It's Tonkery for the stop, and West Virginia takes back over inside their five yard line. So on the first play, here is a handoff to the fullback Timmons and he's picking up a gain of 10 as that seemed too easy as he hit that, uh, he got that ball and like took off. So second and one, 
here facing some pressure but throwing the ball across the middle is Allison he's finding Drew Bowen again and that's 25 yards and a first down so now here is Allison from the shotgun this time facing some pressure but he gets rid of it this time to Giovanni Haskins I thought that was our opportunity to get an interception on that one but it's completed so here's Allison quick throw across the middle some more pressure and now he's starting to catch on to these blitzes he finds Drew Bowen once again 27 yards as he's almost at 100 yards receiving already so now under two minutes left here in the first half here on a third and six screen. He's getting it out to Petaway, but that's actually a great tackle by Jalen Nelson. So we do get them to settle for the field goal. So can we score to make it a one score game going into halftime here on the play action fake Jennings throwing out to the right side. Here's Trey Walker with the move and he's picking up a lot of yards on that one gain of 27 and a first down. So we haven't been able to move the ball too well through the air, but here's another quick throw to the right side. That's Trey Walker again. Gain of 12 as this West Virginia defense hasn't really broke so far, but we're getting them to bend a little bit. So now on a first and 10, scrambling out to the right side. Here's Jennings. He's diving forward. Gain of 15, and that's a first down. So he's got 30 yards rushing as well. So now here is Tyler Nevins. Counter play out to the left side. He gets smacked that time by Tonkery. And that is a gain of five, so second and five. Here is Jennings throwing across the middle. That's Raheem Akusi, and he's getting in for the touchdown, six yards out. And wow, this is gonna be a good one, it looks like. Raheem Akusi, the red shirt freshman. We have a lot of good freshmen. He's a red shirt. He's gonna take over for Trey Walker in the slot once he graduates and we get it down to a six point deficit. So they do have some time at the end of the second quarter here, trying to heave one deep to the end zone here on a first and 10 at about the 45 yard line. Here's Allison throwing to the end zone. It doesn't quite make it, but it's picked off Isaac Tagia. And that's how we are going to go into halftime as that may give us some momentum with a 20 to 14 deficit. Let's go into the second half. So now here to start the second half, here is Drayvon Jennings. Can he recover from kind of a lackluster first half? Not a great completion percentage. Bruh. But there he is running out to the right side and taking a hit. Take a look as he's shaking up for the second straight game. This is not good, but we do have Matt McDonald. We are familiar with him now. We had a almost a full second half of playing time with him last game so we should be familiar and here is a throw out to the right side of Trey Walker that's a nice throw and remember he's the more accurate quarterback out of the two so now first and ten handoff up the middle there is Tyler Nevins getting the gain of six as we are inside of their 20 yard line this time running a triple option remember Matt McDonald can run the ball a little bit but he hands it off to Trey Walker five yards and a first down so now at the nine yard line here is Jamal Taylor getting the jet sweep. He's getting six. And now we are inside the five set up to score. So second and one handoff up the middle. There is Jay Taylor. He's making his way inside the goal line for the touchdown. And I actually like giving it to Jay Taylor inside the goal line because he's a little guy. He can fit through those little holes and he's kind of, you know, hard to take down. So now we do take the lead here, but here is Martel Petaway picking up 16. And that's a first down as he's at 76 yards rushing. So now on a first and 10, we finally get an Bruh. opportunity. Send the correct blitz from the right side. He thinks he has an open man, but we miss an opportunity at a pick six. So now here is Allison on a second and 10. Gets new life and scrambles for eight yards, getting it to a third and two at the 31 yard line. Snap to Allison. Quick throw across the middle. That's Bush again. He's breaking a tackle, getting inside the 10-yard line. Tevin Bush, gain of 25. Let's look at Jack Allison. Only five incompletions, and two of those are interceptions. So now here is Allison from the shotgun. Once again on a first and goal, he's going to find Bush again. And that's a seven-yard touchdown catch. Let's look at that. He kept his foot in bounds. Only need one in college. And they line up to go for two. So we do get caught napping here a little bit. We forget the score. And that is actually bad defense. And they take the seven-point lead. So now here is Drayvon Jennings back in the game. Luckily, it was a minor injury. 
as he finds Carl Wolf on the six yard reception. So now Jennings scrambling out to the right side this time. He's gonna sit in the pocket, throw over the middle. That's a nice little touch pass to Billy Humphreys. The tight end for 25 yards and a first down. So running the receiver in motion this time, giving the ball off to Tyler Nevins. He's picking up only a gain of two. We haven't had much running room in this game. So third and eight, here is Jennings throwing across the middle. That's picked off by who else but Tonkery. And he gets an interception, and that's his first one of the game. Seven tackles as he is beasting us. Now I think like three of those are actually tackles for loss. So now here is Allison back out onto the field. This time we get him to throw the ball away, setting some pressure that time. Andre Armstead almost gets the sack, and we get him to throw the ball here on a third and long. Screen pass out to Petaway, and this time he's not getting the first as wow, that turnover ends up not hurting us in the end, and we get the ball right back. So second and eight here towards the end of the third quarter here is Jennings finding a lot of room out to the right side. I just wish our receivers would have blocked that guy on that one. That could have been a big game. So first and 10 here, getting towards the end of the third quarter. Quick throw across the middle. That's actually a big gain of 30 for Carl Wolf as that takes us into the fourth quarter. So now here, first snap of the fourth. Here is Drayvon Jennings. Nobody to throw it to. He tries to get rid of it and takes a bad sack. That's a loss of 14 yards as there is Darius Stills for his first sack of the game. So now third and 26. Here's Jennings throwing out to the right side. Nobody to throw it to on that one again. And we had to punt the ball away and hopefully stop this West Virginia offense. So now here comes Allison back out onto the field here from the shotgun. Going to hand it off to Petaway. He's picking up a block from his guard, using him as a shield, breaking a couple tackles and getting 17 on that one. And wow, he's almost at 100 yards rushing off of just 10 carries. So now here is Allison on this draw play this time. But this time Trey Jefferson's going to be there for the tackle. The senior gets the tackle behind the line. And now we get him to a third and nine. Screen pass to the right side. Another screen, pet away. He can't get the first this time. Only picking up seven, he needed, he needed nine as we get them to punt the ball away to Jamal Taylor back to receive the kick. But he lets this one bounce. And now we are stuck inside the 10. So now on a first and 10, here is Drayvon Jennings from the shotgun. Gonna scramble out to the right side. Gonna try to look for Jam J Jay Taylor deep, but he can't find him. He gets hit on that throw, 11 for 23. This defense is doing his job. So second and 10, scramble out to the right side. He's gonna get a sack. And wow, that's actually picked up by Darius Stills for the touchdown. Take another look. Our offensive line just got obliterated on that one. And wow, just like that, we are down by two scores. So now on the next drive, we got to catch up here. But on the first pass, throwing the ball to the right side. And that's picked off by Tonkery. Wow, this is falling fast. Take another look. Carl Wolf, he would have kept running to the sideline. That's probably a first down. And who knows, he could have turned up field. But for some reason, he stops. And it's an interception. So now here is Allison set up. Inside the 15-yard line on the first gotcha, play here, bitch. scrambling up the middle, but he can't get away. And Michael Cummings is going to get credit for that sack. So third and goal. Here is a screen pass out to the left Give side. Actually, going to be picked off by Isaac Tagia, and he's off to the races. But he just doesn't have the speed. You see, he's getting hawked down from behind there. And wow, three interceptions for Allison, and we're still down by two scores. So now on the ensuing possession, here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to try to throw the ball to uh, Trey Walker on that, but that's actually incomplete. So second and 10, quick throw across the middle. That's Raheem Akusi as he's had a few big catches so far in this game, and that is a first down. So first and 10 here from the 20-yard line. Two and a half minutes left in this game. Here's Akusi again, picking up a gain of nine as here we are set up out on a second and one at about the 10. So here's Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna outrun the defensive line. He's gonna make it to the pylon for the touchdown. And there we go. One score lead, two minutes left. All we need is a stop. 
So here is West Virginia back out on the next possession. Three stops here, and we force a punt, and we, we may have a chance to tie this game up. Here's a throw out to Drew Bowen, and here is Bowen. He gets a block here, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what is this? Look at this throw out to Bowen, and somehow Isaac Tegia gets tripped up, and he's off to the races. Is Wow, what a turn of events. Man, we thought we were right back in it and that type of thing happens, that's just devastating. So now on a second and 11 on the next drive, almost over here, a minute and a half left in this game. That's a wide open Carl Wolf and Drayvon Jennings misses him. So third and 11 here. Everybody's coming in on the blitz, but look at trying to run out to the right side and Drayvon Jennings gets hit and he's shaken up. And what's new, Drayvon Jennings hurt for the second time in this game so now we bring in Matt McDonald here on a fourth and 11 scrambling out to the right side trying to buy some time to throw the ball but he could have maybe ran for that but look at Matt Pollard he gets the catch but take a look it's a legal touching and wow that one is a loss of down and it propels West Virginia to a victory here as wow, look at the game that Tonker he had a sack, tackle for loss, two interceptions, and nine tackles. As we were just dominated by this defense. And we're going to have games like this. Drayvon Jennings is just a freshman. Sometimes you forget after the first two games. But man, what a bad game. I mean, honestly, 46 percentage, completion percentage is definitely not good enough to win the game. He did run for 30 yards, but 13 attempts. I mean, that's a lot. And then Tyler Nevins ran for 60 yards, but it was a really, really quiet 60 as we had to throw the ball quite a bit in this game. But, man, what a defensive performance by them. I mean, they were sending pressure every single – it seemed like every single series they were sending constant pressure as we just could not capitalize on those blitz opportunities. We didn't even get any pressure on their quarterback. They were just pressuring us. And it results in the loss. Jalen Nelson actually had, I want to highlight him. He had a good game. 6'2", 179, senior. He had a pretty good game playing in kind of that nickel position when he was on the field. And uh, it just wasn't enough, though. I mean, Jack Allison, four touchdowns, three interceptions. He had three interceptions, and we still lost by two scores. Petaway ran for 100 yards. I mean, their receiving core did everything. I mean, look at this. Bush had eight receptions, 98 yards. Haskins had seven receptions. Bowen went over 167 yards. Wow. And it's just crazy because we just don't have the uh, defensive backs to play any type of man coverage, and it hurts us. So that's one thing I'm looking at in recruiting man coverage. I want to start playing some man. It's definitely hurting us when we play against teams like West Virginia who can just air it out. So that is going to do it for this episode. We have one more non-conference game as versus Tennessee next week. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.